Hey everybody. Happy Tuesday evening. Dion here with my sweet girl, Abby. So when I sat down on the floor earlier and started getting things ready, she decided to have a seat next to me. And this is kind of how she spends her days most of the time. She's usually right here beside me. And when I get up, back and forth. But when you sit on the floor, she's certain that you're here for her, right? You shake. Good girl. <laughs> Look at me making her show off. What is this called when you put your your dog or your child? What is what do you what do you do? Exploiting them. I'm exploiting her. Look at her ear. Can you look at the camera? She thinks I'm talking to her. Are you this girl? Yeah? Can you shake again? Can you shake? Can you shake? No, she's not. So you guys, Dion here, we're gonna work on day 30. Um, basically, this is gonna be a little bit of the same stuff that you've seen before, um, working on the wax. Um, I'm gonna be adding some clear wax to the, but you know, yesterday I was on the ladder, thought, no, I'm not gonna do that again. So I'm sitting on the ground. I wanna work on a little bit more of this section over here. Um, I wanted to make, oh, go get a shake. Ah, oh, she's a good girl. Uh, if you do have any questions, Matt has agreed for day three in a row to help me out. So, oh, are you leaving? Where are you going? Where are you going to go? We was just getting started. Okay, well, you go over here then, lay down. You guys do that when you sit down on the floor, your dogs or pets think that they're, think that they're there to play with you. <laughs> yeah. Okay, you have to be still. You have to go to one spot and stay close. So Matt's here. Hey, Matt. What's up? So um, he's here and he can answer. No, he can't answer any questions. He can tell me if you have any questions or comments that you need answered. So day three. Yeah. You're having a hard time with it? Yeah, it's just not one to load. So if I do something wonky over here in this area, I apologize. I have a new phone. Got that new um, oh my goodness, Heather, that's, she does that um, when we're stretching. Like at night, I lay out and stretch out on the floor. She gets right in my lap. So it makes it really difficult to stretch. Um, I will have to be kind of quick tonight. I've got Talk To Me Tuesday in my membership group tonight. Um, just wanted to say, we're here for day 30. We're going to bring it. We're going to wax. Um, so just to recap, basically down the center here you may not be able to see a whole lot of difference but this side all the way up to the top has been waxed um this side has just clear wax on it okay so no no that's a lie what did we do on two two days ago i don't think i put clear over here i can't remember Matthew, do you want to put clear over here? No. <laughs> we're live. Where's your computer? Uh, we're live. Thank you. Dad has a computer. So this right here, um, I don't think we have any. No, we don't. So we got to do clear first. So that's what we're going to work on tonight. From here over, we did not add clear. You know, I know I always work in sections. I feel like it's way more helpful to work. In sections so I don't get a uh, too far ahead of myself plus it works really a lot better when I'm live with you all so no I have not added clear to this side yet I got ahead of myself but someone said earlier what does the clear do well it actually no that's not what she said she said does the clear make it appear darker because it seems like it's darker and I said yes it actually with DIY paint you look at it in the jar and then you apply it, it's wet, and then when it dries, it's a lot lighter because all of the air evaporated. Um, but when you apply the top coat, and it's like that for most chalk paints as well, uh, not just your clay-based paints, but once you put your top coat on it, like your wax or your, your any kind of sealer, brings it back to that color that it looked like when it was in the jar and when it was wet. We also have this thing called the freak out factor. All right, Matt, I'm gonna get busy, so if there's any questions, let me know. Um, uh, Leah Gilbert on the Facebook. Lee Gilbert. Yep, yeah, wants to know if we've ever painted a piece together. Matthew, have we painted a piece together? A piece of furniture? No. No. He was.
wouldn't let me paint with him. He thinks I'm too messy. You are messy. Isn't that right, Woods? <laughs> no, we have never even painted a piece of artwork together either. He likes to do, his style is totally, um, what's your style, babe? Perfect. His style is totally perfect. Mm -hmm. That's what I was just thinking. Um, so his style is a lot different than mine. He likes to, you know, line everything out and have a total plan and stick with the plan. Um, I don't, clearly. Right, honey? No, you never stick with the plan. I never stick with the plan. Okay, so we're just adding the clear here on this section. Does dog have gas all the time? So if you just heard Matt coughing, it's because Abby's in here with us and she just tried to she just tried to hurt us. She crop dusted. She she bless her heart. Why is she doing that? She hasn't always been that bad. Does anybody else have that kind of struggle with their pets? Oh, I heard Matt choking over there and I'm like, what? All right, Teresa Rogers with the YouTubes. Uh, when will the when will the next open enrollment for the Creative Connection be? January first. And we'll only stay open for two days because I don't like to get too many in there. I like to keep it a little bit more controlled. And um, we'll open for two days only. But you can go to the turquoisiris.com right now and go to the Creative Connection. There you can scroll down to the bottom and grab your put yourself on the waiting list, and I will notify you as well. Getting a lot of change her food. Change her food? Yep, a lot of. I think she's eating something outside. She's been eating the same food for like four years. You think she just is having a hard time digesting it? Well, well I mean, she's getting older. She's like me. She's getting older, having a hard Why time. Why do you change your food, don't we? My word, is that what your problem is? <laughs> <laughs> and yours? No. Okay. So we've just about got the clear on this section. So those of you that have been so kind having Matt on here with me, I appreciate you. It is a lot easier um, to have him reading the questions. So I and then I, I feel like I can be um, a better service. So I don't have to um, skip your questions. Um, we have one from Vintage Sin. Okay. On the YouTube, what color did you use with Golden Ticket to make the copper? I know you told us, but I forgot. No problem. Marquee Red. DIYs Marquee Red. I saw a question from Karen but I, Brown, but I didn't get a chance to read it. Who? Karen Brown on YouTube. On the, on the YouTube? Yep. I don't see Karen Brown. Karen on Brown's YouTube. always here. She, Karen? No. Karen? No, Karen Brown. I don't see Karen. No, no care. All right. I'm going to scroll down then because I saw her name. So you sure it's not on the Facebook? I don't give her probiotics. No, it's on It's on Facebook, yeah. That's what I just said. Oh, uh, Heather Watson. She just ratted me out. How many cre active members do you have in your Creative Connection group? Karen, we have just under 500 right now. See, Karen, she said she's on Facebook. You and said YouTube. No, I didn't. Okay, Karen Brown, how many active members do you have on Creative Connection Group? I just answered that question. Oh, there you go. Kenny, you kind of have to keep up if we're going to do this. A lot of people just telling me how awesome I am right now. Nobody's telling you that. Okay. Um, all right, look at this. Um, no, no, no. Oh, uh, Mary Heath. On um, the Facebooks, will wax be your only sealant? Yes, that's all you need. There's absolutely no reason for me to have anything else than a good solid coat of wax on this girl. DIY wax is wonderful. Oh, you know what I forgot to get? Golden ticket? No, I forgot to get a new rag to use to wipe back the white wax. You don't have any rag in here? Not in here. Okay. 
Okay, so I'm using this JRV brush, which stands for Jamie Ray Vintage. It's her stencil brush. Um, and I'm only using it this way instead of on a big brush like this. Uh, I do have another one that um, I was applying white with, but I just want this so I can have a little bit more control over it. Almost provides like this really beautiful iridescent look to it. And it looks dreamy over the copper. It looks dreamy over the blues. We got a big time question right here. All right, big time question. Yep, Susan Dean on the, on the YouTubes. All right. What was the first piece of furniture you painted? And what would you recommend for a beginner? The first piece was a mid-century piece. Don't recommend it. Um, and... I mean, I'm just being honest. It was a mid-century piece, and I spray-painted it high-gloss gray. I wouldn't recommend that. Piece number two. It was a dresser that was given to me. It was like old pine, real chunky, real solid, real heavy. I painted it a solid coat of turquoise and apple green. So my very first piece, two colors. Didn't even do one on my very first piece. Or my second piece, I should say. But like the first piece I used... Um, actually brushed on the color, rolled it on. I think at that time I was rolling it. Um, I would recommend you start with a basically a three-drawer dresser so you have enough surface area. Forget the legs, forget a chair, don't do anything like that. Um, how can you tell if you've used enough wax? Hey, I thought I was reading the question. I know, but you, um, I just... You were still to, talking. I know. Sorry, honey. Okay, Didn't mean to step on your what is the difference in appearance from the white wax versus the clear wax? Oh, goodness. The white is what I'm applying right now. And I'm applying it over the clear. The clear is acting like a barrier, so um, if I need to pull any of the white back off, I can without it getting too thick and chunky. Hold on, Abby's totally... I mean, she literally laid right here next to me. Oh, Abby. So her head's almost in the frame of the picture. Um, so if you look back at some of my, um, some of the pieces I've done in the last six months and you go in, you look in closer, most of them have a little bit of white wax on them. They have that iridescent look to them. Missy Sanchez on the Facebooks, how can you tell if you have used enough wax? Is there a trick? There's not a trick. You just want to make sure you cover the whole surface area. And um, once you let that dry, give it 24 hours, then you'll want to buff it. Um, if you decide that it's going to be a piece that has a lot of, um, now you can see right here it's wet. This right here is where I stopped with the clear wax. You can kind of see the line here. Um, so, you can see that it enhances it and enriches it, makes it brighter. Um, and then I added the white just here. So this is still just the clear right here. It's making that cherry picked and coral look really good. Just cover the whole piece really well. That's all you need to know. Just cover the whole piece. Uh, Denise Reynolds on YouTube. Uh -huh. How long does it take for the wax to harden so it doesn't feel waxy? Um, the DIY wax will be feeling great in 24 hours. Tomorrow, actually, tomorrow when I wake up, it will not feel waxy at all. What you doing there? Me? Yeah. Um, Instagram's, a, the battery's low, remember? I told you that, it, and then, but if I take that cord and put it, it'll block the camera. So we have about 20%, which means about 2% with a normal phone. It was 72 today, you guys, and I'm, I'm kind of bragging a little bit because the rain and cold weather is coming, but Oklahoma was 72. I got to go to a baseball scrimmage and watch both boys today. Um, it was just really a beautiful day, and yesterday was nice as well. I actually had some on-calls, my one-on-one -on -one mentoring, um, where I actually took my phone and camera and tripod outside and did my work outside. I like that. I like that. I could live with that California. Honey, could we move to California one of these days? No. I moved to Hawaii, though. You moved to Hawaii? Mm -hmm. I don't know if we can afford to live there. I'm not sure any California is any better, though, right? Oh, man. And Vintage Sands, it's pouring in San Diego right now. Oh, it is? 
So, honey, I met her. She came to the class in San Diego, and she was kind enough to let me finger paint on her denim jacket. Oh, nice. Yeah. Well, I've got a great question from Karen Brown. Karen Brown. It's not really a question, it's more of a statement that I'd like to respond to. Okay. It says, I don't know how you do all, all you do with your lives, your groups, your family, and more. And it's really just a hashtag, more math. So you read the question or the statement, but you just answered it? Yeah, I mean, I think she was actually searching for an answer, and I just gave it to her. So did you just take credit for me being able to do all of this? Well, I think it takes two. It takes two? Yeah. You're welcome. Thank you for that, Karen. Very, not, very nice, Karen Brown, very nice. Matt said it's because more Matt. If you remember, there was a hashtag started last night, hashtag more Matt. Yeah. So he just totally took all the credit for how I'm able to. No, get no, no, not all. Not all of it. No. Oh, it takes two, right? It's a fifty-fifty deal. Oh. I don't know what I would do without you, Mr. Woods. You'd have to do all of it. I would. Not sure I would get all of it done, right? Oh, see, there it is. Hashtag more Matt. Bam. We're starting. Boom. We're starting a revolution. You didn't want him. You didn't want him to forget from last night, did you, babe? Nah. Okay. So I am loving the way that this, I just, I love the way this looks. I'm gonna put a little bit more over here on this section right here. I'm gonna make sure Instagram is not left out of the party. And then I'm gonna have to say adios. We've got Talk To Me Tuesday. Oh, yeah, and Denver, she said, it takes two to make a thing go right. Did you just sing? <laughs> no, 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 no. What movie is that? Huh? What movie is that? It's with uh, the guy and the girl. The guy and the girl. It was the guy and the girl. And the proposal. The proposal. Name that yeah. song. Yeah. Proposal. It takes two with Sandra Bullock and Ryan Reynolds. <laughs> Ryan Reynolds. What a goofball. All right, this is so pretty. I just, I just, you know what? I'm tired and I want it actually done. I actually, I'm ready to get this done and we still have the sides to do and the rest of this, but a few more days, a few more days. So when will you be done? A few more days, I just said that. Like two? I don't know, a few. I don't know, I probably will because I've started tutorial um, in the Creative Connection. So I probably need to get this girl out of this room and um, put my tutorial piece in here, honey. Which means you get this piece out of here. You and the boys. Mm -hmm. But did everybody see my close-ups that I posted this morning and last night of this piece that we worked on at the top part with her crown, her medallion crown? Uh, Emma Sanchez. Emma Sanchez Ramos. Okay. On the Facebooks. All right. Mom's job is never done. Nope. No, it's very, very true. Never, ever, ever. My mother was actually here today helping me, or doing it for me, and painting my hallways. Because we are having to, we are not having to, we are choosing to paint our entire interior of our house Slowly but surely. And mom is awesome. Yes, dear. Um, Patty Ferguson Levine on the Facebook. Hi, Facebooks. Patty. Um, hi, Dion. And more Matt. Hashtag more Matt. <laughs> Elizabeth is painting. Elizabeth is painting and blending with a few different DIY colors. Yep. And struggling with the colors looking different when wet versus dry. Uh-huh, yep. And matching. Does that make sense? Any tips for her? Yes, because when they dry, they're going to be a lot lighter, Patty. So the only thing that you want, that's exactly what we were just talking about. So they're going to be look like, look, this right here has wax on it. This right here doesn't. So this dried a lot lighter than Calgary Coral actually is. But when I put my wax back on it, it looks like this, which is the actual color that it's supposed to be when it's wet. I hope that helps. Um, Carol Kincaid, I'm reading your question right now too. Um, 
DIY paint on a rug, would it be washable? I don't know about that, but I will tell you, Debbie Beard has a video under Debbie's Design Diary. Um, she painted with her paint an entire area rug in her living room. Um, so I'm guessing she hasn't tried to wash it because it's really big. Um, but she did it step by step and created a whole video and showed us how to do that and it turned out really beautiful. Okay. Um, I want to give a shout out on the YouTubes to Abby Delmont. Uh-huh. Um, she said she's super happy that I'm here. And Abby, you're encouraging him. And it's the reason why she came back. So, and that's the reason why she came back tonight? Yeah. Um, really Are you ad-libbing and adding stuff? I'm going to give a shout out to, to her for that. So that's great. Thank you. Thank you, Abby. That was an awfully nice thing to say. I think she missed my singing. Do you think she missed your singing? She, she might watch the replay. She can watch the replay to catch hashtag Matt. Hashtag replay, hashtag more Matt. Hashtag Matt singing. How many hashtags do you think you need? I got a lot. Apparently. Okay, guys, I am going to have to call this a night because um, I've got to get set up for what? No. Talk to me Tuesday in my creative connection. So we're just still working on more max, more waxing. I'm doing the exact same thing that I've done the last couple of days. Um, I'm just working through it and in sections. Once we get the rest of the front and both sides done, I'm gonna get this babe on the staging wall and add tons of flowers and um, Marie Antoinette will be finished and completed. She is for sale. The other thing I was gonna show you, this side is completely done and it's ready for this brush, which is my buff brush from Paint Pixie. Um, Patty, you'll, the struggle is trying to make two items identical. Um, so I think it's just a matter of practice. So you're painting two different pieces of furniture, Patty? Because I figured there was more to your statement than what I was understanding. Um, Especially with working with sections, you can tell that when I'm working on this door and this door, they're not going to look exactly alike. I actually don't want them to look exactly alike. I want them to look like they've worn completely on their own naturally. Um, and maybe one had more sunlight on it through its lifetime and one um, was in, you know, never had direct sunlight, like one section of it. Um, so I feel like that's the way furniture actually wears more naturally. Um, depending on where it is in your home and the, the amount of natural light that's hitting it from the window. Um, so Patty, I am thinking that you, maybe she has two pieces of furniture that she's trying to get them exactly alike. Um, it's going to depend on the amount, like how heavy your brush is loaded full of wax when she finishes it. That will also enhance the color. Um, it won't enhance the color. It's just going to take longer to dry, which gives it a little bit of a splotchy look until it's completely dry. Um, and then just remember that DIY wax does go a long ways. Um, so again, this, all over this, this whole piece is what I'll be doing when I get the whole piece finished. I won't do it right now, but this is the brush that I use from Paint Pixie. It's called the Buff. You guys, take care. Have a great night. Tomorrow's Wednesday and I'll be back. Yes, dear. And give a shout out on the YouTubes. A shout out on the YouTubes. Yeah, uh, to, um, Maria Constant. Just say Maria. Yeah, Maria. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good old Maria. She said good evening from Greece. Good evening from Greece to you too on YouTube. I appreciate you being here. I appreciate all of you being here. And I will see you back tomorrow for day 31 of 100 lives in 100 days. Um, Matt, did you hear anything you want to say? See you tomorrow. We'll see you tomorrow. That means he's coming back for day four. All right, you guys have an awesome night. Now I've got to go figure out, talk to me Tuesday, I'm going to figure out.